Hi everyone, it's Wednesday, November 29th, and you are here at the Chaos DEI uh, Working Group Meeting, Diversity, Equity, Inclusion Working Group Meeting. I'm Elizabeth, I'm the Community Manager here at Chaos, so good to see everybody here. Uh, minutes are in the chat if you need them. And um, let's get started. If you haven't added your name and tell us how you're doing today, feel free to do that or not, it's up to you. And as always, this is under the chaos code of conduct. So just keep that in mind. And again, you can always just keep your cameras off. If it's a camera off kind of day, I feel you. I totally know what those days are like. Um, but maybe every day is that day for you. And that's also valid. So cameras on, cameras off, what, whatever you want to do. We're good. Right? We're good. And um, I think we usually do this, but I'll just mention if somebody can just, uh, if anybody needs a minute, just drop them in the chat in case I miss it. Oh, that would be great. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's start here. Just a quick reminder. Um, we do take that break at the end of the year for our all of our mental well being and just to have that kind of break from meetings so that we can come back in January all fully refreshed and ready to go. Um, we have one more meeting then until the, the first of the year, which is um, next week. We have the, our meeting next week and then we'll be finished until January, that week of January 8th. So. Uh, if you show up after that, there will be no one here, just so you know, you'll be by yourself or maybe with someone else that did not get that memo. So you, you guys can meet together, I guess, if you want, but nobody else will be here. Uh, any questions about that or clarification needed, anything on that front? I think you guys have heard that multiple times. So, you know, we just want to make sure because <laughs> we do have uh, some people that were questioning that. So. All right, I will move on if there's nothing else. Okay, um, this is the next thing on our agenda. It's very exciting news. We can finally talk about it out in the open. Um, so as you all know, we have been working with the All In Project at GitHub um, for the DEI project badging. Um, they were our founding partner that helped kind of kick that off and get the pilot launched. Um, but we have now taken that kind of back over at Chaos. So the um, here's the post if you want to read the GitHub post about it. Uh, basically, just says that in a nutshell. Um, here's how it went, and we would like to, uh, of course, still welcome participation from everybody. The GitHub folks are still welcome to participate, um, and they you'll probably see them around from time to time. So um, so that's that's that. And there is a new project badging repo, which is now in the chaos uh, badging um, organization, not the all in organization. So if you do want to uh, co collaborate with us on this, this is where you would go. We forked it. Elizabeth, are there a separate set of meetings associated with the badging project or is it all included in this meeting? Great question. Um, we do have there's there's a small core meeting on on Mondays that a few of us have just uh, the ones that were kind of logistically like moving everything and, and working on the nitty gritty of it. Um, but now that it's moved over once we I think once we so okay take a step back we're working on a, a website that will unify event badging and project badging all in one place and um, like have like a seamless look to everything and so once that's completed we'll probably just disband those meetings i would guess wouldn't you matt i would yeah it's just like the folks who've been working on the server stuff like to actually do the moving and like the design on the on website so there's only like four of us that do but um most of the i, I honestly i think all of those conversations do happen here as well um we usually report back or, or invite others to participate so yeah does that make sense makes sense well i'll let you know that i have been working on revising our templates internally for opening up open source projects at HPE. And I did add the DEI.MD to our list of templates. So, and oh, wonderful. Uh, I'm, I'm going to start proselytizing that in some meetings next week and pushing that to uh, various people to hopefully get the business units and the people who are actually doing the releases of open source projects to. Uh, align with those templates and improve their outwardly facing profiles for their projects. 
Amazing. That's awesome. interesting. Step one on the journey of a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's all it takes. And and to be fair, we, you know, we are also on that journey <laughs> with this with this whole project. So uh, we'll go on it with you. It'll be a learning experience for all of us. Um, I would I would also say that at future levels, because we are like we've done the bronze now, we have those four metrics kind of locked in on the bronze, but we are gonna add extra levels and add more metrics into the template as we go. So those conversations will all happen here. All of all of that will happen here. So you can be and part of that as well. Rhea, have you been sharing the like the template and guide files with people? So I'll put them here in the minutes. Oh, thank you. Yep. I just merged the actual .md files into our internal repository. Okay. Nice. I haven't really got into the state of sharing. Uh, people can access them internally because they're in our GitHub, but uh, the chances that someone's going to just accidentally happen, happen upon them are pretty low. So I need to start okay. proselytization and having those links will be helpful. Thank you. Yep. So yeah. Yep. The template's meant to just be probably what you use to merge in. It's just, it is just that. It's the DEI.md file in its base form. And the guide is just meant to kind of walk people through how they might go about filling that out. Excellent. And then we also just wanted to... Daniel had a question. Oh, sorry, Daniel. Go ahead. Uh, thank you. I was just going to ask, um, any tips on how to pitch this to open source projects as far as what link or resource to give them. Um, so like we have the guide and template files for like how to actually do it. But as far as like why, like the reasoning behind why they should do it, any reason why, you know, any like what link are you sort of pitching to a project to, to say, this is what it is in summary, this is why it's important, this is why you should do it. Um, are you, I know we had, the website was another good tool, but I know it's still in flux right now. So I was wondering if there's something else anyone's using. I, I would say uh, the website is gonna be where that ends up. Um, we do have, like there are some original blog posts when we first launched it that talk a little bit about um, why we are doing it and why we think it's important. So we'll probably just take some of that text and put it in the website. I, I think right now we were, yesterday or Monday we were talking about that uh, design of that site and the the frequently asked questions and why was one of the questions that we were going to add to our about page of like why would somebody even want to do this or take the time to do it. So um, I would say if you are able to wait until that website is ready then that would be preferable. But um, if not, I can link you to some of the like original, like kind of uh, launch launchy kind of messages that were sent out when we first started this pilot, if that's okay. I'm um, sure, and I could always piece something together for, for GitLab's end. Um, and we're kind of holding off on pitching to our open source projects on GitLab until we at GitLab have completed and hopefully gotten our badge. That way it's like, uh, setting an example for the other projects to to follow, um, and then hopefully the website would be ready to then be able to say like, hey, check out all the information you need right here in one place, just to make it easier. Yep. Yeah. Matt, were you gonna say something? No, I was just agreeing. I think that's. I think it's in that FAQ page, which is the most sensible place to have that information. Awesome. I, I will also just say, Daniel, the design of this um, is in the final, I would say, final iterations. And um, so like in the next few days and then the front end team will implement it, which it's it's not that well. I, should, I, I, I will say it doesn't look that complicated, but of course, I'm not a front end person, so it might be a lot more to it than it seems. Um, but yeah. We, we will be tweaking that as we go to, but we understand like the functionality of it is the, the key piece right now. So that's kind of the piece that we want to get out as soon as possible and then tweak the de actual design and the, the look of it, the brand of it or whatever they call it. I don't know. I learned so many new terms on Monday talking to Kingsley, our designer, like what was it called to action in the hero block or something? Yeah, I, was I like, don't know. Yes. 
Yeah, learn so much from them. So yeah, so any so that also brings me to this thank you. I just want to say thank you to Kingsley and Enoch and Ruth and the front end team that has been working on this um, for a while. So they've been doing fantastic work. Sean, also thank you for your work on the server stuff and helping get all that moved over. And um, yeah, a lot of work has gone on behind the scenes to make this a reality. So thanks to all of you folks. Sean, did you have a chance to connect with Enoch about his database questions? He didn't respond to me. Um, okay. So I'll ping him again. <clears throat> okay. So Daniel, this was just um, some of one of Marco's pull requests. Enoch had a question just if it would impact the backend database, like before he pushed it. So he was, Enoch and Sean were just going to connect to make sure that any changes that Marco had put forward didn't have some kind of secondary effects on it behind the scenes. Sean doesn't think it's going to be the case, but nonetheless, just wanted to clear that before it's merged. But I think everything else was merged. So good. Yeah. I don't think it'll be a long conversation. I just need to understand what Enoch doesn't understand well enough to fully approve it so um i just pinged him 23 hours after i pinged him the first time to the minute <laughs> so <laughs> cool I appreciate the update thank you yeah and i'm hoping we can use um gitlab itself uh, as a first example to run through uh, when that's ready um yeah yeah 100 yeah for sure um, I mean, if you want to start putting, have you started putting together the DEI.md file, Daniel? Yeah, yeah, in draft. So I'm going to hopefully get that through in the next week. Um, okay. See how many people need to sign up and review that one on GitLab's end before we can get that merged and then okay. um, have it ready for to submit to, to the chaos site. It'd be really helpful too. I know you've been involved in the DEI.md, like the template for a long time. Um, but like if there was anything that was kind of unclear as you were filling it out, you know, or frustrating. It'd be nice to kind of know those spots so we can clean them up. Is there a, a like an issue or like tracker for posting feedback on that end? Yeah, it seems maybe you just put it in the project badging repo or just bring it up here would be okay. Great. Thanks. Thanks, man. Yeah. I'm not sure why we don't have issues here. Um, so I will uh, look into that. Why? That's weird. Right? I think you might. we might have to enable it or something in settings. So okay. um, and I then, mean, that's literally not our subtle way of saying, do not open an issue <laughs> in this repo. <laughs> like, we don't want to hear it. <laughs> um, I'll just check that out. Um, and then the, the all in, the respective all in project badging repos have been archived. So as to not create confusion. Because we had two for a while. And then did you want to say something, Elizabeth? Nope. And then do you, Elizabeth, do you have any sense of, I know there are still some web pages that are up on all in with respect to project badging. We talked about that on Monday. You know what I mean? Yeah. They are going to go sh shut down at some point. I know we don't really have any control over that. Yeah, I thought they had been done, but I don't think they have. So They weren't um, on Monday. I haven't looked since then. Let me just see what they have here. Yeah, it's still there. Okay. Hmm. okay. I'll, I'll follow up with that because he told me that that was finished. So I will follow up with that. Okay. Okay. Cool. Anything else? All right. Yeah. Oh. Okay. No, I was just saying, looking at the use of the phrase FU. <laughs> I mean, okay, I'm going to say follow up. Yeah. To alleviate any kind of confusion in this area. Yeah, yeah I'm not trying to apply anything. I swear to God, I'm not. I swear. It's just a shortcut. Okay. Thanks, Matt. Sure. I, don't, I just can't. I just was looking right at it. <laughs> yeah, definitely not wanting to imply that for sure. 
Um, okay, moving on. Uh, there was, uh, I just wanted to give everybody an, uh, an update on our onboarding courses. I don't see Precious or Yiga here. Okay, so um, the project managers for that, um, Precious and, or sorry, Peculiar and um, Yiga and myself met yesterday. So we are working on, we, we made some decisions about the, how we're gonna move forward. Uh, we are finishing up this doc, which will explain everything on how to contribute to this project. Um, but we are in the meantime, so this will be done probably by Friday. Uh, that's our goal. Um, but we are still accepting volunteers. So in the meantime, so if you want to fill out this little form, if this is a project you want to help out with, and you can do design, um, you can record videos, you don't have to know anything about the thing, we will have somebody to write a script for you. Um, if you have a topic you want to talk about, great. If you um, want to edit videos, that's also fine. Something else you are good at and think that we could use your help with, that would be great. So just let us know how you want to help. We will try to uh, involve you as we can. Are there questions on this? I'm wondering, you know how we have our podcasts professionally edited? Mm -hmm. Can we do that for this stuff? Too? I don't even know. I would I, maybe. Um, I think so. For the for the first iteration of this, we are just going to have folks record through Zoom. Okay. And we think that that's just like the easiest way to get the recording. They're going to use the Chaos Channel. This is what we're proposing anyway. They're, mm -hmm. they're going to be able to use the Chaos Channel. We're going to set it as soon as we're going to try to get everything done during the break. So we'll have blocks of time people can sign up for to record a video. And then we'll have it set to automatically record when anything comes out. Um, Any time that a meeting is started, it will just automatically start recording. So there may be some editing needed, um, but I don't know if it needs to be professionally, at okay. least first iteration, I think. Okay. What do you think, Matt? I mean, if it's- if, It was if, just something that crossed my mind. I think yeah, just, no. I just paid a bill for peach tree for, yeah. for the podcast. <laughs> I mean, they, they do such great work and I think I think once we kind of get it launched and then we can kind of go back and you know maybe redo some things I'm guessing things will get out of date pretty quickly with how things move here at chaos okay. so maybe as we go then we can kind of bump them up a little <laughs> you know give them kick them up a notch but okay. I think we're just trying to get it out yeah we're just trying to get out okay and then how do you like have you did you talk about like um ensuring that people who volunteer have the skills they need for the particular things um we yeah we didn't talk about that specifically um okay. but we did talk about you know just giving them guidelines giving making it as easy as possible for people um i, I mean really the 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 thing that people so if you sign up to do a video um that you are going to write and you are going to make like yeah. we're going to assume that it's somebody that already has knowledge of that and we'll be able to see who those people are sure um but then you know for somebody who's reading a script and doing that with slides like i mean it you know i i think we can try it and see how it goes okay because i think it's a good way for people to get their get their feet wet and maybe if they haven't done a lot of pe public speaking like maybe that's okay because they're just reading from the script so i don't know i think we're gonna okay. see those well and with a script i mean a lot of them i think some of these videos are going to be relatively short yeah anyway yeah like the template that i or the deck that i had put together with ruth oalio i mean it would make, take maybe 10 minutes to get through it yeah we may even break that up okay you know, because there is kind of like a break in there. There is. It was a natural yeah. break. So we may do that um, yep. just to keep it even shorter. Okay. So, um, and then for the, the design, we're just going to refer to the chaos slides the sure. template that we already have. So we don't have to create something new. We'll just use that. And so if there is something with slides, that that's what we'll, we'll ask people to use. Okay. Um, yeah. So we'll just see how it goes. Yeah, it's kind of a big experiment, this whole thing, so. Okay. Any other questions, comments on that? I should put this in here too. Um, so work happens 
in the education channel for this. Bye, Rhea. See you later. Bye, Daniel. I think you have to leave too pretty soon. I'm not trying to kick you out. No. <laughs> but you had said you had to leave, so. All right. Any, any anything else on this? All good. Okay. Um, Chaos Con Africa, likely in mid-June. I'm yeah. guessing you put that on your mat. I did. I just I think it's gonna the conversation came up. Um in the gen in the community call yesterday, just when the next chaos con would be. Daniel, I think you might have an interest in that as well. Um, so it looks like it's gonna is it is it Oscar Fest, I think, is what they partner with. So yeah. it'll be in Nigeria. Um, there was some disagreement in the community call about whether it would be in June or February. Oh no, I think I, I don't think it was disagreement. I think it was just an explanation as to why it was in June. It's yeah. typically it was it just had to do with the timing issue okay i thought it was in june last year but that it might be in february this year oh i'm okay that's possible the website says june okay but, that's probably right somebody mentioned yesterday in the call I, at least oscar fest so yeah so it's june <clears throat> all right so Carry on. i know that you were trying to get some stuff over to ruth from gitlab um i have tried to send things to ruth and it has not gone through all the time so just fyi i don't know yeah, what that, that's been one concern if we weren't able to ship to ruth and if there was any other way of getting like swag sent to over um at all i may be i i've got to look at my calendar but i may be going so it might be possible just to send it to me and then i could just check it you know like just shove it in a suitcase and check it so that would be probably the best option if i do head over Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's touch base on that and see how we can. Make okay. That okay. You might also talk to local suppliers and have somebody local make it if it's something that could be easily, easily made. Yeah. We have stuff like that's, avoid um, whole customs shipping thing. Yeah. We have things ready to go like from our vendor. Um, uh, okay. And I just have to figure out like, I need to get the address from Ruth to see if that can ship out or send it to Matt and see if Matt can lug it in the, I can. My biggest thing is my mom has some sort of family event planned for the summer, and I, I have to go to that first, <laughs> above and beyond, <laughs> above and beyond everything else. <laughs> Can't miss that. But if that if they don't overlap, then I do plan on going. We'll figure it out. Thanks. And yep. yeah, if you have a if there's a website for more information about Chaos Con Africa too, can you drop the link in the agenda? Uh, yeah, not at the not for the upcoming one, but I can certainly track something down for the prior one yeah and if if you have a conflict matt enoch will be here well that's true by then and i could send him back as a now americanized delicate okay that would be another option daniel so enoch is joining the phd program that was Missouri, and so he could head back as well potentially yeah i think getting in and out of the u.s from an african country is not a big deal And I see Matt put in the link from last year. I, I, I guess it depends on where Oscar Fest is, but as far as I know that that, I mean, Anita might, might be able to speak to this as well. I, that location, I think seemed to work great. So it may be at the same place, may just kind of do it again, how, how we did it. Um, well, there are chances that the location might not be the same state. Oh, there because okay. that's what the team mentioned that the possibilities of trying it in another state but um in terms of accessibility it wouldn't be so difficult either and um just like i said in yes yesterday's meeting i think the time frame supposedly it was supposed to be february i think they would have started planning by now I would think so, uh, yeah. Yes. So I am assuming it should be June, like it was this year. Okay. Well, as soon as we have something nailed down, we'll definitely let everybody know. Make sure you know about that too, Daniel.
Um, anything else? Ooh, now, and then there were just five of us here. And just us now. Hey, it's party time. <laughs> I guess we are still recording, so yeah, we'll be good. Um, so no yeah. party. <laughs> no party. Wah, wah. Uh, um, Don had put this in the general channel, so I just wanted to bring it up here in this meeting. Make sure the folks that attend this meeting know about these CFPs. Encourage them to um, submit something. State of OpenCon and FOSDEM. Um, OSSNA is also open now. So if anybody wants to submit to that, oh. you can. I missed that. All right. Yeah, I think it just opened um, and it closes on January 14th. So you do have some time, but. Okay. What? Okay, wait. CFP closes January 14th. Schedule announcement. Oh, February 15th. Okay. I was like, wait, January 15th, one day. They got everybody picked out already. Go ahead and apply. <laughs> What's happening right now. Okay. Calendars are hard. Math and time. I don't I don't understand any of it. Um, yeah, that's the end of our agenda. All right. What else do we have here? We have some time. I did my things. I did my things. All good? Give each other time back? Sounds good to me. Because I know there's another meeting coming up, so. Yeah, there's one at 11, so. Wow, okay. 28 minutes. I might be able to eat something, make coffee, <laughs> Literally. live a life. <laughs> yeah, sometimes that 10 minutes in between meetings just isn't enough. That's it's not crazy, quite enough John. That's crazy. Things, but 27 <laughs> minutes, that's, that's like forever. Pace, pace yourself. Don't try to do everything. <laughs> That's prime mapping time. All right. All right, All right. everybody. See you all in a few minutes. Later. Have a great rest of your day. Yep.